Hi, I'm Julie from The Techie Teacher, and I wanted to share with you some really cool updates that have been added to the free web tool, ClassroomScreen.com. I wrote a blog post and did a Facebook Live about this tool last May, I think it was, when it first came out, and that blog post has become one of my top three posts on The Techie Teacher, and that Facebook Live gained the most reach out of any Facebook Live I've ever done. So I really think educators from all around the world are loving this tool. Since then, the creator, Lawrence Coppers, who's from the Netherlands, has been working hard to bring us lots of great additions. So I want to share those with you today. I'm going to go ahead and flip my screen around so we can take a quick look around. And while I do that, if you have used Classroom Screen in your classroom, would you tell us your experience in the comments below? What did you think about it? How did you use it? How did the students respond? We would love to hear your experience. So I have launched Google Chrome. This works best in Chrome, so any device that supports Chrome can be used. I'm going to go to classroomscreen.com, and once I get there, the main toolbar will launch at the bottom of the screen. You always get a different background every time you go to the website, but that can be changed. So I'm just going to go through all of the little tools real quickly. One is language. Check out all of the languages that ClassroomScreen.com comes available in. If you don't see the language you need, you can always add one or request one. There's the ability to change the background of your screen. You can even upload, this is a, an addition this past year, you can upload your own image. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this one. You've got a random name generator where you just type in your students' names and you only have to do this one time. Whoops, I can't even spell my own name correctly. And once you have all your students in there, you can easily save this file to your computer, and then the next time you launch Classroom Screen, just pull it in. You just upload it right here. The thing is, Classroom Screen, since it's on, it's a web page, it's not going to save your work every time that you open it up, do something, and then close it out. The next time you open up ClassroomScreen.com, you're going to start blank again. So if you ever need to save something that you have up on your canvas, just take a screenshot of it. There's also the ability to roll dice here next to the person icon. You can roll one, two, or three dice. I'm just going to click on it to make it go away. You've got sound level here. You can project this up on your board and, while students are working, and you just hope that they don't reach the level 10 voice level. I'm going to stop talking for a minute so you can see how it goes down to zero. Of course, you can change the sensitivity, but I find this uh, sound level tool pretty accurate. A lot of teachers like the QR code widget. You can type in any website. I'm just going to do techieteacher.net. And then when you click out of it, it creates the QR code for you. You can make it bigger by clicking the plus sign, put it anywhere on your screen, and then if students at their seats have iPads, they could just scan your board real quickly and that QR code will take them to whatever website they need to go to or wherever you're trying to send them. You can click on drawing and you have the entire screen as a drawing canvas. You can even uh, pull up some graph paper. You have the ability to draw on a small section of a canvas. You can even import or copy and paste pictures or images right into this little white canvas here. A lot of teachers use the text tool to type in directions for the day, or students can use classroomscreen.com on their own device and use this as a journal entry or something that you're having them take notes on that they would not necessarily have to keep or they could copy and paste it into a Google Doc or whatever it is that you're having them do. Uh, you've got work symbols here. So let's say the class is working and you want it to be nice and quiet. It's just a nice visual. This is even great for students to have up on their own device. There is a traffic light. Uh, this could indicate all sorts of things. You could do voice levels. Students could have it on their device and indicate where they are in a project, all sorts of different things. You've got a timer, a stopwatch, and then the last one here is a clock, 
and you can add a calendar. And you can have dual widgets. You can have as many as you need up here. Oh, I just clicked on background. And you can just arrange them however you wish. Now, one of the latest updates, which I'm very excited about, is the ability to do a digital exit poll. If you come here to the lower right-hand corner, you can click that icon that looks like a graph. And you can type in your question up, up, up above. What did you think of today's lesson? And you could have this projected on your board or you could have it set up on a computer in your classroom and then students would just come around and start clicking their feelings about whatever question you have up above. And then when you're ready to show results, click show results and it generates a nice little graph. So I'm very excited about all of these updates and I just wanted to share them with you today. Check it out if you haven't had a chance to try classroomscreen.com and let us know what you think. Have a great night.